Hello everyone, welcome to this conversation. This conversation I am doing with Abhinava Banerjee, who secured ad admission in IIT Delhi in MS in Fluid and Thermal Sciences without GATE. So this is basically a session I am doing for all the aspirants who don't get a good score in the GATE or who don't get a good score in the GATE. And then they also want to get admission in IIT. So there is a lot of opportunities that are available where you can get admission in GATE score IIT में MS में admission ले सकते हैं with scholarship जो कि आपको gate से मिलता है। तो अभिनवा जी ने ये admission secure किया है। अभिनवा जी welcome to this conversation। Sir, thank you for having me in this conversation. I have I went through your other talks with other students and I think like these conversations will really be very beneficial for aspiring students. They will get some important points from these conversations. So starting from the beginning, uh, from where you have done your B.Tech? Sir, I have completed my B.Tech uh, from Indian Institute of Engineering Science and Technology, Shipko, which was formerly called as uh, B College Shipko. Okay. So uh, you have cleared, uh, you have secured MS uh, in fluid, thermal, fluid and Thermal Sciences in IIT Delhi, right? Uh, sir, uh, MS in uh, Design, sir, in Mechanical. MS in design, MS in design. Okay. So, uh, can you explain what is the admission process without gate? How a candidate can secure a position in IIT for MS? Uh, yes, sir. Like uh, all these admission uh, uh, are done like twice a year, and both the gate who have qualified gate and those who have uh, those who are not going through gates who are from central institutes, uh, which are generally known as CFTIs, centrally funded technical institutes and are having a CGPA of greater than 8.0 can apply directly uh, and the GATE score requirement is waived for these students. Uh, so the first step is to apply in the online portal and after that uh, a list of the shortlisted, uh, a shortlisted candidate list is, uh, uh, is there uh, and after that the next step is a, a written test. And then those who qualify the written test, there is an interview and based on the interview are selected. Right. So uh, you, what you said is ki first you have to register on the online portal, right? And the first and foremost criteria without gate candidate, the candidate who don't have gate score, the main criteria for them is CGPA more than eight, eight. right? Yes, sir. Eight, CGPA of more than eight and they should have their graduation from centrally funded institutes yes sir can you name they can, uh, can you name few yes, centrally funded institutes so that our viewer sir, can like understand all, like all the nits uh, triple ITs, iiest uh, those are likely funded by the MHRD. okay so these uh, regional regional uh, government colleges are they considered as a centrally funded institutes Yes, sir. Like uh, there are there are some government college in each in each states, na. They are also considered as centrally funded institute, right? Uh, yes, sir. So what I want to ask is, suppose you applied in the online portal and you are having a CGPA more than eight, as well as you are from a centrally funded institutes. So is it hundred percent that you will be shortlisted for the return, or is there any other criteria? Uh, no, sir. Uh, uh, now, once we are having uh, CGPA greater than 8 and we are from CFTI, uh, we are 100% sure that we'll be shortlisted for the uh, written test. Written test. So, uh, in written test, what type of written test uh, they conduct? Like, like nature of questions, what kind of preparation is required for the written test? So, the uh, written test uh, is a pretty simple uh, test. It, 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 it checks the uh, basic concepts of the subjects. Uh, and the syllabus is uh, similar to GATE, sir. There are both numerical questions and conceptual theoretical questions. So, uh, can you give some examples what type of preparation a candidate required for written test? Uh, sir, uh, basically, uh, like the syllabus, uh, what we are studying for GATE, uh, it is same. Uh, so, uh, so, there is nothing extra that we need to study other than GATE. It's uh, same. Okay, it's same as that of gate. So, uh, yes, uh, in paper we have conventional questions, or we have MCQ or, or that and that type of questions. 
sir uh, uh, some of the iits are having mcq questions almost most of the iits and isc uh, also admits uh, now they have both mcq and uh, conventional type of questions both questions so we have to prepare for both mcq as well as for uh, 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 conventional, conventional type, type questions so uh, yes, what type what means how much preparation is required if our candidates uh, know the basic can he handle or you can you suggest some study material for uh, this written test or is it same as that of gate Uh, so it is same as gate uh, uh, talking about uh, me uh, i did a coaching i did some coaching in some coaching institute and the 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 preparation uh, that was done over there was sufficient the notes that were given over there and the study materials of the coaching institute was sufficient okay so what i what what i am feeling is that if a candidate is have prepared for gate he need not to do anything extra for the written he can simply right away go for the written right yes sir and the conventional questions that i was speaking of they are not like proving something they are basically uh, big numericals uh, sort of esc conventional questions okay okay so once you qualify the written examination they conduct the interview right yes sir so uh, what type of uh, what type of interview they conduct is it technical char what kind of question they ask in the interview so uh, basically after the written test uh, we are being asked to select a specialization like in mechanical either we have to select uh, thermo fluids or design or industrial or production and based on our selection uh, there are four panels basically and uh, based on our selection uh, the 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 panel uh, the panel uh, interviews us and it is basically a technical interview none of the hr questions are asked and most of the questions are conceptual questions okay so right after the right after the written test before going to interview you have to select your branch like thermal and design right yes sir and then based on the uh, branch you are uh, choosing like thermal design or production or industrial based on that your interview will be conducted yes sir why you choose design only why not uh, thermal and uh, industrial or other any other branch so basically uh, while i was in my uh, undergraduate uh, i did some project uh, which was uh, in the field of uh, biomechanics and it is like most closely aligned to design and that's why uh, like i like the topic of biomechanics i want to continue further research on that topic and hence i choose uh, 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 design specialization what is the course duration if you can if you know about about the course duration is it two year program or three year program so it is uh, like the minimum duration of the course is two years and it can be extended up to three years and if one extends up to three years for all the three years you are given the stipend okay so continuously you will be you will be getting the stipend uh, have you inquired about the Uh, you know career prospects after this course after having ms in design what kind of career prospect you have have you inquired about it or uh, you have just taken the admission uh yes i have inquired sir so basically students who are uh, interested in research and want to pursue uh, higher uh, degrees uh, like phd uh, the the uh, the course of ms is beneficial for them and those who want to uh, go for job mtech is uh, most suitable uh for them uh, because in ms research there is a flexibility of choosing your subjects and also uh, to taking the course work at the time when one feels best during okay. your two years course okay okay so you whenever you want uh, your course work you, uh, at that time you can complete your course work so is there yes. any you know after doing this course uh, you know uh, there is possibility of doing only phd or there there is some you know possibility of having job in the industry also yes sir uh, from uh, iit's perspective they allow both mtech and ms students uh, to sit for the placements uh, without any discrimination so like uh, there are many students uh, like seniors i have i had a talk with uh, they opted for uh, industry jobs and there are seniors who opted for research but uh, one gets and even uh, one is opting for industry the work is basically uh, some r and d sector or some sort of that thing oh, like one right. is not doing a managerial job okay 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 so you secured admission in iit delhi do you know other iits uh, any you can you name some other iits who, who are also uh, 
have who are also offering course similar to what IIT Delhi is offering. Yes, sir. At present, sir, almost uh, all the IITs are offering, and like IIT Madras and IIT Bombay are also offering without grade score. But uh, some of the IITs uh, have uh, certain restrictions. Like IIT Bombay uh, doesn't offer the stipend if one doesn't clear grade, and uh, the same is for uh, IIT Madras. Uh, like in IIT Madras, they called it called it as NHTRA. That is half time research assistantship uh, without uh, any financial uh, stipend. Okay. So, so that can I, be. Yes. IIT Delhi offer financial support or scholarship, but uh, in IIT Bombay and IIT Madras, you will not be given scholarship if you are not get qualified, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, is there any uh, this type of course is also offered by ISC also? Yes, sir. It is offered by ISC. Okay. So, good luck, Abhina. it was very nice talk, talking to you and i hope this session will be very informative for the future aspirants and most of the students there are many students you know who have not uh, qualified gate or they don't have good score in the gate or enough score in the gate so that they can join iit so for them this is a hope that they can even have their degrees or higher studies from the iits without the gate score so basically ये एक इंफॉर्मेटिव सेशन था जहां पे मैं आपको ये बताने की कोशिश कर रहा था कि आई में भी ऐसी पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं कि आप एम एस विद स्कॉलरशिप कर सके बिना गेट स्कोर के तो बहुत सारे ऐसे हमारे कैंडिडेट्स होते हैं जो गेट में अच्छा नहीं कर पाते हैं तो ये उनके लिए एक बेस्ट ऑप्शन है और अभिनाथ जी ऑलरेडी ये एडमिशन सिक्योर कर चुके हैं सो ऑल द बेस्ट अभिनाभ फॉर योर फ्यूचर कैरियर and i hope you will succeed in your career all the best thank you for joining us thank you sir thank you sir